Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, I would like to show you how to sort the records of a data frame in Pandas. So in the previous session, we have seen the indexing and slicing of the records of a data frame. And in this session, we'll see how to sort the records. So in order to sort the records, first of all, we need to import the Pandas, the library, and I will import the Pandas and I will give some alias name PD so that all the functions should be called with the help of alias name. And first of all, I will create a data. I mean, I, I, I need to read the data from the file marks from the Excel sheet. So D is equal to, I had a function read Excel and give the location of this particular marks. So this is the location of marks. So just read it, X L S X, right? So make sure that in the location, there must be a double slashes and then now the complete data of these marks will be copied into a d and now we need to create a data frame okay sorry the read excel should be called with the help of alias name pd dot read excel now i need to create a data frame def is equal to a data frame of d okay here the data frame should also be called with the help of pd and I have executed this one. Now, if you print DF, you can find the data available. So there are different columns, roll and birth name of the student, Telugu, English, Max, Science, and social. And these are the, there are some 20 records. Okay, here I have taken a small example. So with the 20 records only. Now we'll see how to sort these things. So you can uh, see the roll number is in an ascending order. So we will sort with the help of name itself, right? with respect to the name we can sort. So in order to sort the values, there is a function called sort underscore values, sort underscore values and give the column name here, give the column name. So what's the column name here? Name of student. So name underscore of underscore student, right? So if you execute this one, you can observe based upon the name the records have been sorted so first abiram so a so the roll number for this student is 106 and the marks of that particular student and next ashok the marks of the particular student bargo dinesh govin so here the complete data has been sorted with respect to the name so here we need to give the column name so whatever the column name you are giving so the values will be sorted with respect to that particular column name. So if you are, if you want to sort, if you want to sort with respect to any, any other column name, see, for example, go with the max. So I will go with the max. So execute. So based upon the max, see, you can observe here 60, 64, it's an ascending order, right? It's an ascending order. So if you want to get the marks with the descending order, so that means highest marks should be get first. So then they just pass one more attribute or a parameter like ascending, ascending is equal to false. So obviously the result will be in a descending order. So you can observe here the highest marks in a mathematics will be appeared first and the lowest, lowest marks in the max will be getting the last record. So like this, so the same thing we can apply for any column also. So Previously, we have done with a name of, with respect to name of a student. So just go with this one, name of a student and ascending is equal to false. So the last, I mean, we'll get the descending order in the alphabet wise. So Vasu, V is a last character, right? In the given records. So V becomes the first record here because we are giving the attribute ascending is equal to false. So like this, we can sort the values with respect to any of the column, any of the column. So if you want to sort a particular records with respect to two different columns, then you have to pass two columns as a list. See, for example, I just want to sort the values with respect to name of the student as well as maths. That means the, max, the marks of a mathematics subject. So just go with the same thing. So instead of using all these things, 
just give the list okay and here you need to give the column name name of student comma I give the another one that is maths so with respect to these two columns all the records will be sorted you can observe see a 91 a 98 b 86 d 76 so with respect to these two okay and you can also give the ascending order or a descending order similarly here we can give ascending is equal to false so you will get differently you will get differently see descending okay so here you can observe the name of the student it is completely descending order okay but here the mathematics is not in a descending order right so based upon this one we are getting so if you want to get the record sorted with respect to these two things just copy the thing and we can give which one to be ascending and which one to be descending so instead of giving ascending values so here false give the list and specify 0 comma 1 so 0 represents the descending order 1 represents the ascending order 0 represents the descending and 1 represents the ascending so 0 means descending of this first one that is the name of a student and one is ascending of this mathematics marks so you can observe the two different ways okay so this is descending and this is ascending and if you give one comma zero one comma zero the first one that is the first column name which we have given that will be arranged in ascending order and the second one will be ascending in descending order you can observe so this is ascending and the here it is descending so in that way the elements will be sorted and instead of going this maths you can go with the another thing that is the signs and execute so based upon these two things so signs is uh, ascending and maths is in descending okay so with respect to these two columns the sort the values will be get sorted okay so majorly we can go with the name of the students right so this is how we can sort the elements of a data frame so in an ascending order or the descending order right so hope you understood this one so if you are having any doubts regarding this uh, sorting sorting function feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really understood my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much